But geometry is one of the defining elements of all of Breezer bikes, but especially these longer travel all-mountain enduro bikes. Uh, Repack is 160 millimeters of travel, 27 inch 5 wheels, so you've got big wheels with big travel. Anyone that's gotten a chance to ride with Joe before knows Joe doesn't go slow down hills. He doesn't want to, and I'm not sure you really know how to. But um, <laughs> So keeping up with Joe on all these trails is, is a challenge, and uh, it really vets out that we're making a bike that's designed to go fast down hills, uh, to keep all that chaos under control as you're trying to ride that razor's edge. As we look at what's going on in geometry, especially for this new category, which is so popular, the 27 5 inch wheel, they're not taking advantage of that bigger wheel. And this is where uh, Joe is such an advantage for us because he was designing geometry on those original mountain bikes back in the 70s uh, and 80s and helping push forward an entire industry and in how these bikes are going to handle. What I try to do is take advantage of those big wheels and, and there are a lot of advantages to be had. It's not just about the rolling diameter of the wheel. Uh, one of the most important things about the larger wheel size is the increased uh, fulcrum height. You know, the front axle relative to the bottom bracket is higher up. When you're climbing a hill, it keeps you your front wheel planted on the trail. The advantage of a steeper head angle, if you can pull it off, is quicker handling bike that's fun. You know, when you have slack head angles, it's sluggish. And I call this having those, those axles higher, uh, uh, riding in a valley of confidence. That valley of confidence is what really puts the fun in repack. When starting this project, we looked at all the full suspension systems out there and we really felt that we could improve on it and we wanted to improve on it. Full suspension has moved so far over the last 10 years. Lucky for us, um, the guys that are at the top of the game, in our opinion, Soto, Soto Group, saw that we were making, bringing the Breezer brand back with mountain bikes uh, and they approached Joe and I one day about making a full suspension. Uh, asked if you were interested in doing full suspension and, and boy were we. So does a design company, ultimately. We, by default, specialize in the bicycle industry. And our, and our specialty really is suspension. There's not a lot of people that know a lot about suspension. We know a lot about suspension. I think the big thing is we haven't had a uh, unsuccessful system yet. Well, it, it, they get better and better the more that we develop and the more we learn. But the real success we've had is that pretty much the first design of all these bikes after they come off the computer uh, does what we expected it to do. As we've looked at how full suspension has evolved over the last 10 years, moving from pivots near the rear axle, either above or below it, which is a very long link, to super, super short links where the pivot locations are up by the bottom bracket, even so short that now the pivot is an eccentric, which is very short. With the M-Link system, it keeps all the attributes of a welded fixed rear triangle, which is a rigid system, but backs away from these super short links. So that longer link gives you a much smoother, plusher travel, and the bearings actually move a smaller amount for the same amount of rear wheel travel. And that's a great system for keeping things durable and for keeping them rigid. M-Link is kind of like, it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's not a cross-country race bike like I'm used to used to riding, and, and I was uh, a little dubious about what this bike could achieve. And then we took it for a spin up at Tamarancho, and, and oh my gosh, you know this thing can actually climb. Isn't this supposed to be more like, like a downhill bike, you know? And 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 then we went downhill, and it's like holy cow, this thing can really go down too. And and it just seemed like uh, this is a do-it-all bike. The engineers at Soto delivered such an efficient platform for going uphill and downhill 
uh, that we were really able to create a bike that we felt didn't sacrifice anything. And that's fairly unusual in the all-mountain enduro category because to make a bike that goes downhill really, really well, uh, usually you have to give up some other component of how it rides. Um, but in our case, we feel that we've been able to create a bike where you sacrifice nothing. This bike's been two years in the making for us, so it's been a big secret. And to finally get to talk about it and have people on it, our, our first experience was that, with that was at the International Distributor Meeting. And seeing these guys from all over the world, guys and girls riding along, when they stop, their faces are just lit up. And hearing things like fantastic or um, superb in all these different languages was <laughs> such a great experience for me. Uh, it really validated a lot of the work. Joe was involved in every little piece and every little wall thickness and um, you know, it's, it was a total team effort. So, If you have a bike that gives you more control, um, allows you to push harder into turns, uh, you're going to finish the ride with a bigger smile on your face because you've gone faster than you've ever gone before.